All right, we're live. <clears throat> Do we have audio? Are we good to go? Okay, we're starting to see some messages come through. Good. Okay. Let's see what we're missing here. Friend requests, I'm assuming. God damn, it's cold. <clears throat> Okay, got a decent amount of stuff sold. We'll claim that stuff first. One thing I want to do tonight is I've been holding on to, um, let's see. I've got a uh, decent amount of gems left over and some lucky coins to be able to use for, uh, Let's see what is it lantern packs so we're gonna buy some lantern packs spend some gems get rid of some stuff that's the plan first we'll claim what we got let's see who is all showing up tonight some familiar faces stop D how's it going fifty elites under twenty K honestly I haven't even looked today to see how cheap we can grab them if they're that cheap geez are they program elites that we're getting for that kind of a price not seeing anything in my market that doesn't mean they're not out there I'm just not seeing any pop up 85 plus damn I need to start paying attention um, I've been so loaded with players I haven't had the opportunity to buy more I think I have I'm down to about 2,000 players now which is good but uh, too many players too many damn players <clears throat> which means that whole deal with trying to keep uh, the dismiss box empty is you're just constantly relisting, constantly relisting. Well, the reason I was running behind is um, all my auctions from last night came to an end about an hour ago, and I had like 700 dismissed messages that I had to un undismissed or it's not undismiss. I had to dismiss and then do it. When am I getting emotes? I don't know. Whenever I, I get the time, I think. I know I saw the, you know, I, I stopped you at like the, uh, the dog with the heart, by the way. It's nice. I, I need to put some stuff together. I had some on YouTube, but uh, we'll see. What am I drinking tonight? I actually have two leftover gifted beers director of coaching for our club got me a 12 pack and uh, there's they're almost gone two left I'm trying to clear the fridge out it's live stream notification on email from twitch i'll have to look into it i have no idea uh i'm, I'm still kind of getting used to the whole twitch format to find out why and you're a sub too, so um, you should be at least getting a notification. Lunar New Year holiday. You're on holiday for Lunar New Year, so are you? Where are you located at? A gift came through from Stopti. 
Tier 1 subs. Nice. Do I think it's worth using gems for this event? Holy shit, yes. This is right now my favorite event. I've had the most... Uh, this is this is the most opportunities I've seen come through, um, and it's just because of this lunar the lunar lantern pack is unbelievable, and that's what we're gonna start grabbing. Let's just do it now, cause I'm I'm just that excited. I've put this off, and I really want to do it. Not team of the year, wrong event. Lunar New Year, Lucky Shop, Lantern Points, which I've already done three. I did three earlier today. Uh, we still have some. Oh, shit. I only have enough for one. But we'll, we can spend some gems. I'm not worried about spending some gems. The best part about these things is you seem to get back lanterns as you open them. So five lanterns should be just two open packs. But it just seems to just go on and on. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. 38,000 38, gems. What should I do with them? There's a lot you can do with 38,000 gems. But I would be spending some on lunar packs. Lunar lantern packs when you can. And like right now while the lanterns are available in the lucky shop. That's when you want to grab them. See, we just got red envelopes. I don't need any red envelopes. See, there's one more lunar point. So now we're up to another one we get to open. Come on, give me a player. I think the best I've had is a 94 rated lunar player. Another lantern point. So only one left, so I gotta go back. Let's spend some gems. I wanna open a few more of these. Do I have a hype train? I don't even know what the hell a hype train is. Six nodes away from 1,500 boosts. You know, on the lantern packs, I grabbed five that first day. And I did spend the, what was it, 17 bucks, $17. I had, that was, what well, I had like $15 left in gift cards. Uh, that have been sitting in my account for a long time. And this was finally the point to do it. Was to uh, dump it um, into here and bought the whatever packs it was for the the cash only lunar packs. Whatever that was. Not FIFA points, but the cash packs. And uh, that kind of gave us a jump to get working through the whole thing. See, I don't have enough for another lantern. So we're going to buy... Lucky coins. What am I down to? 27, 20. I think this is my last one I'm allowed to buy. Yeah, this will be number five. But that should give me three more lantern packs. Yeah, three more at least. Okay, let's see how far we can take this. Best use of lucky coins is lanterns. Yes. Most most undoubtedly, which I don't even know if that's a word. Okay. Did I get any lucky lanterns? No. But a decent amount of boost. This this event is all about the boost. Tons and tons of boost. Zodiac tokens and a lantern. I like the double lanterns. Hopefully this isn't my last one. Please be another lantern. Two lanterns. Okay, that was good. And Jarstein. I have no idea how high he's going right now. That is definitely a player that we'll be holding on to for a while. Will not be uh, selling it anytime soon. Another lantern. Another lantern. Damn it. Okay. So that's it. I don't think I can buy anymore. I think I'm, I'm done. 
because lanterns are only available with lanterns and with uh, you can use lanterns and you can use stuff that you grab in the event itself the lucky store which I think the lucky shop yeah it refreshes every 12 hours so there we go I got all five of them decent amount of players though and a shit ton of boost which is I'm all about the boost boost is the most important thing for me oh, I love all the gifted subs very nice guys so someone explain to me what a hype train is Let's, I'm just curious to see what these guys are going for. I haven't sold any of the Lunar players since day one. I'm just holding on to them. So Fabian was the one I grabbed earlier. Four million. We'll hold on to it because I think it's going to go up. Jarstein's. Wow, look at that. 100,000 suggested. Definitely a dumb idea to get rid of any of these players right now. Okay, let's see what I've got left. So, because of uh, the elites and uh, the rest that have been dropping in price, I think it's... Oh, it's time. Um, because the elites have been dropping in value um, and the masters are so low it's just XP only there's no real point to be putting anything into it besides XP um, the silvers and the low gold end has really started to see a jump in value see so I need to uh, I need to read up on Twitch and figure out what how I create emotes and what the hype trains are and everything that'll be my homework for the weekend to actually start to understand this format Okay. Jake Paul knocked out Gib. Was that tonight? Hmm. I just, you know, honestly, after that last fight, the Logan Paul KSI rematch, I just can't see dropping another 20 bucks for some half ass boxing match but wait wasn't wasn't this one supposed to be it wasn't boxing was it was it a cage fight alright so silvers are doing better uh, this was where I was at just been fishing the 10,000 coin fishing um, had Rafa's went up to almost 50,000 Most of these I only had one of at this point, so I couldn't bump the price up. There we go. Moritz for 39. Stulax went up, but then they dropped dramatically. They were at 60 some thousand, and I couldn't get any to sell at that price. They ended up going for 23. Let's see who else? 56,000 for Kiki. Kirchhoff. There you go. 73,700 for an 800 coin silver. I'll have to look into find out what the actual hype train and gifts are. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for coming in and some gift and some subs. That's awesome, though. Ten thousand for all these. I, I hate when you list like three or four, and you see that they're gone. So you look at it. Let's see, three, 
Maroons sold for ten thousand a piece. But if, had I had only one listed, because I have too many damn players in reserve, I could have gotten fifty-five thousand for all of them. Which I'm not complaining about the price. I mean, it's. I mean, we're up over a million coins, just in silvers, since. Whenever I streamed with Allison, I can't. That wasn't yesterday. That may have been two days ago. I don't know. The days are all starting to run together. Ten thousand, eight thousand, started to slow down in the last twelve hours. Yeah, 1,500, 10,000. There you go, 75,000 for a gold. Cesar, that one just sold. I might have more of those. Let's check that out. How in the holy shit do you pronounce that name? It's, it almost looks like the sound of coughing, Kowski. Okay, so let's see if those are still going. Because I, I swear they weren't there a little bit ago. Okay, we're at 10,000. We'll see if I can get two to sell. And then coughing, Kowski. Damn it. Nope, don't have any more. Uh, I am only on leaderboard. Do you think EA is trying to ch kill off investments? No. No, it's, I mean, this is pretty standard. Everything we're seeing right now on the market with the prices, it's not anything EA has done. This is just common traffic flow in and out on the market. Okay, I see that you're a versus request, but I'm not ready yet to play. Just hold on for a second here. I'm up to 3.1 million. I think I was... Oh, no, wait. I may have gotten a couple hundred thousand from... Uh, I'm not sure. I bought Kalini for 15 million. Do you think it was a dumb idea? Are you going to use him in your squad? Because if, if you're trying to invest in the player to be able to sell, then I, I, I don't necessarily think that was a good decision for 15 mil. But if it's a player you're going to use, then it's there really isn't a, a value that's unreasonable. Could you have saved money if you'd have waited or bought him a little sooner? Maybe, but if you're going to use the player, who cares? That's the way I look at it. If I'm putting somebody in my in my team, I'll pay I'll pay whatever I have to pay. I can make money anywhere. Tell me a good defense. I already have Van Dyke. I since I have an EPL team and I'm obviously fan Liverboy, uh fan Liverboy. Liverpool fanboy, which sounds bad. Um then I have Boxing Day Matip, and I haven't trained him. That's just base 95, and I really like him. There are a ton of players, though, especially through that Boxing Day program. The Boxing Day EPL defenders are top-notch. There's a bunch. Yeah, I'm fan Liverboy. I was a uh, fanboy, Liverpool fanboy four beers ago. See, I'm still, this week I've been so backed up with everything. I'm still trying to uh, finish recording the podcast for this week, which means I'm like two days late now. That's what I was doing before we started this tonight. I'm almost done, and then just got to cut it and put it together. So, yeah, if you guys haven't listened to that, make sure you check out the podcast. I'm putting in uh, a lot more effort 
into the hey one of the says are sold i'm putting a lot more effort into that than what i'm getting out of it but i am enjoying doing it so as long as people are listening to it i'll keep doing it See, he's already dropped down to 7,400, but we're still going to dump him. Those are 800 coin cards that we're selling for that much. Thoughts on Man City losing to Man United? Um, yay. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't dislike Man City, but right now, uh, everything, anything that helps Liverpool see a title... I'm 100% behind. Okay, we'll play the head-to-head. Uh, they're both gone. I was going to do it. I waited too long. Okay, we know you're putting a lot of effort in these things, and that is appreciated. You're welcome, and thank you for the sentiment. I mean, I do this because I enjoy it. It's fun. Um... And, obviously, I'm playing the game anyway. I may as well interact with as many people as I can. Okay. So, I'm starting to get some subs here on Twitch. Which is a good thing, because we're trying to push this along. And I guess I really need to kind of come together and do something for the subs. Some emotes. Maybe, uh... Some private live stream something. We'll see. That'll be my uh, mission, my plan for this week. Finish the podcast in the next few hours. Hopefully, I, what time is it here? It's almost midnight. If I can finish the podcast tonight, uh, get it cut tomorrow and posted, stream in the morning about 10 hours from now. So, 10 hours. Maybe a two-hour nap, get the podcast done, stream, and then this weekend I will definitely try to nail down all of the uh, ins and outs, the intricacies of Twitch. Get some emotes and uh, what else we can do. Thoughts on division rivals, format, and rewards? It sucks. That's my thoughts on it thoughts it sucks i loved the first week when it was all about um the easy peasy just auto play the shit out of it collect all your rivals points for your losses and your wins and everything and it was just just grind it out just play it play it play it play it play it and at any point all i had to do was just start another match make sure my phone was charged throughout the day. And I got to the point where whoever was sitting in the front seat of the car knew to reach over and start another match. I know you're not supposed to drive and text or drive and play video games. And I, I'm, I'm not driving and playing video games, but I am not above letting head to head auto play from parking lot to parking lot. Yeah. I said it all day fucking long. Grind, 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 grind. And I never ma- I never play. I mean, I just it's just all autoplay. And then trying to get them all to tier 16, just autoplaying. I'm at tier 15. 16 is when you have to be up into to champions. But that's where um, at champions, or no, master. At master, you're going to reset to master at the end of the week. And there, and there is no way in hell you're going to get any rewards. And... My plan was to uh, stick with the autoplay format that we've been doing for a long time and hold on to it or just if you wait out the first day and you don't start the rivals until about 22 hours in, then uh, once your local rivals network is built, you're stuck with people who are daily players, but they're not so invested in it that they didn't jump in right away. If you can wait a day or two and not play at all and then get into it. So if the reset's on Friday and you don't play your first versus or head-to-head match until like Monday, 
you have a much better chance of getting into a group of players that are either new or they're just not very committed and aren't going to play very much. But the part of my brain that allows me to go a day or two days consciously without playing and collecting my rewards, I just don't have that part of my brain. I can't do it. I can wait until an hour before the first reset and jump in and just see what happens. But that's that's as close as I can get. But this week, because Friday there was the whole ordeal, it was the new leaderboards and all that stuff, I jumped in right away and on head-to-head. And I, the, the group that I'm in is good grief. I'm screwed. What's my thoughts on Team of the Year Benucci investment? I have a few. And um, I, I don't know if it's going to end up coming back really strong. I think it will to an extent um, because they're so cheap. And it's a defender, and you're getting a decent amount of uh, XP out of them. So hold on. We'll see if I can't get a goal real quick. Damn. Who was that? Was that a Rigi? Yep. Hi. Um. It depends on how low you're getting them. But I have a hard time buying any more than like 10, 15 of a player because it gets really tough to uh, get to unload them in that window. Let's see. When will be the time to sell Team of the Year nominees? Okay, so the the best advice I have for all these nominee players is pay attention, look at what they're, uh, think about what you paid for them. So pay attention to what your um, estim- your investment value is, and then keep an eye on the suggested price not what the lowest price is but keep an eye on the suggested price and once you start to see the suggested price rise that's when i would start fishing some nominees um by fishing them i'm i mean put them on a 24 hour cycle um with a starting price about 25 percent above what you're seeing the current one and uh, what you're seeing the current lowest buy it now on a 24 hour and then bump the price up a couple hundred thousand and see if you can't get one to get to get the bot to buy one and then start dumping them. But I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. Team of the year nominees aren't going to have a, a strong value until um, Lunar New Year's over. It's going to be a while. Lunar Kalini is better than Team of the Year Van Dyke. I haven't used Team of the Year Van Dyke. I only have, um, I only have the Ultimate, and I love the Ultimate. Love the Ultimate. So, stop. Do you're not doing any more YouTube at all? You're just primarily sticking with Twitch. I think this one is a uh, this is a bust but the one thing about grinding is it evens itself out so if you're losing there's no sense in worrying about it okay mathematically let's talk about this for a second because people ask this question a lot mathematically if you're going to grind an autoplay there's no there's zero advantage to dropping down, wasting the time losing matches to drop down tiers to win matches to come back up because you can't have more than one match auto-playing at the same time. So you can't start a match, quit the game, log back in, start another match. Time-wise, it actually takes longer to start a match and kick it out. But if you... Start a match and just let it auto play. Win, lose, or draw. If you lose, you're going to come back up 
as as you work your way forward. But if you draw, you stay the same. You win, you get the same reward. So if let's say you drop ten matches on purpose, you dive ten matches, you drop down one hundred and twenty thousand cups or one hundred and twenty thousand fans just to win your next ten matches. If it takes you five minutes a match, and you played twenty matches to get ten wins, I mean, it took you a uh, hundred minutes to play them. Whereas if you just auto played for a hundred minutes, and you stayed where you were to begin with, because you win, you some, you lose some, you draw or whatever to find that auto play sweet spot, you get the same amount of points in the end. You never had to drop on purpose, and you just grind it. I don't see any reason not to do it. And if you end the week in a lower tier, uh, yes, you'll have a better advantage to be able to build your way back up through the rivals boards. But the way this new system's working, you kind of have a week on and a week off. So if you jump, if you start out at FIFA champion and you jump back to masters at the end of the week, when the next week starts, you're going to start out reset back to masters and you're going to be with everybody that reset back to masters even in your local rivals board it's it's not going to help you any so i don't know i think i'm going to try to take in the next 12 hours take both versus and head to head back up to about a million 80 right in there so i'm just a couple of matches away from fifa masters and then end it and see what happens. Who remembers Jammerit? Yeah. Yeah, rewards are not good right now. And I, I think somebody like me, I'm just sitting on all my XP. I have so much XP, I don't know what to do with any of it. I probably have maybe 2 million XP. I don't know. Seems to be a bunch of mathematics behind this. Yeah, but it's like third grade math. Okay. Do you have a match request in? Just playing your three matches every day? Where has that got you? Like, I'm just curious. Just playing your your three wins per day. At this, At this point, point, how how far, how far are, are you in the milestone rewards? Because, because I'm I'm definitely, I'm definitely playing, playing a lot more, more than three than three matches. Did I bump it? Bump it? Is it better? Is it better? Okay. Mic better? Or is it... Okay, it's good. I don't know. I had to switch to an older mic to work with uh, OBS Mac. And for some reason, the last couple of uh, streams, it runs fine for about 30 minutes and then it craps out unless I unplug the mic so if you hear bad audio just let me know and I'll fix it until I can get around to buying another one to an elite tier the red ones was that like uh, eight or nine maybe ten Yeah, I'm just letting autoplay run. Just to see, I got so much more to do, just so I can read the chat. Just this game. And then we'll check the inbox and see if anybody wants to play. See who wants to play. So, if Stopty's still in here, he's still listening. I was talking earlier with Stopti and a couple other 
um, Twitch streamers and trying to get a few of us together to do some kind of a tournament, like a round robin tournament. Would you guys be willing to watch if four of us uh, streamed at the same time and we played a round robin tournament one after another? So you've got like the first person plays the one person at the same time, and you got two streams going at the same that you could watch the match from two different angles. And we would do a tournament. I think it would end up being four games total for each streamer, just to see what we could do at the end. But we were going to put uh, caps on it. So like round one, you would have to have a 90 overall squad, no higher than 90, and then. Round two, you would bump it to 95. Round three, we might go to 100 OVR. And then for the final, you could go as high as you wanted. Would that be worth watching? That's the question. And if so, then we need to figure out when we're all going to be on at the same time. The problem is, is that the four of us that are talking, we're all, we're all over the place. And actually, what, three or four different countries... Time frames are all over. So I'm usually in the middle of the night. And I think Ruben's asleep right now, more than likely. Um, Stopty, it's it's late for him, but it's not it's not four in the morning. So but I, I think people would watch it. I would watch it. I think it would be interesting. And um, if you've been watching, if you check into my Twitch stream, uh, I've got a, I've we're hosting across so you can see uh, Stopty's videos when he's live. He'll be hosted on my site, uh, Stopty, uh, FIFA Robin, FIFA Ruben. I've got everybody popping up, coming in on my group right there. Uh, and antibiotic that's we're just a group trying to see if we can do it not O'Neill antibiotic did I lose it What happened here? I'm going to lose this one, too? Well, shit. Yeah, I'm actually going to have to play some matches tonight. Silver Squad head-to-heads. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that, too. Um, I think that would be hilarious. be highly frustrating to, to do um, streamer versus streamer, but you have, like, an 80 max for your team. Or 78 max, which because of the boost, you'd have to have everybody off position. It'd be interesting. Silver squads suck. I mean, that's the best part about the new season. When the new season starts and you're just pissed because what was so easy at the end of last season is all of a sudden impossible. Okay, is the game still? There we go. Versus match. A bronze squad. <sighs> yes, last season we had a few silver players that were so fast. Um, after the update, they nerfed Pope. I don't know. I didn't think Pope had any kind of uh, quality before it st before he started. Wolf Tran, how we doing? Yeah, I'm not. I, I I was unimpressed with Pope, 
Even when he was maxed out at 100. Really the only keeper that's ever been a total bitch to play against is that star pass Courtois. I'm good. Glad to see you pop in tonight. What time is it for you? None of your center backs have power header. Is this going to get stuck? Um, it's not a bad thing, but I would definitely try to keep one center back with power header at all time. It's tough when you don't have one. But then again, not every center back without power header can't finish. Is there too many double negatives there? I don't know. Uh, like uh, Boxing Day, my tip, which is one of my favorite players, he finishes a lot. And if he doesn't get to it with his big forehead, he gets to it with a bicycle kick because that's one of his traits is he finishes with a bicycle. I think this timed out. Nope. There it goes. That's a tough squad. Three ultimates up top. How's that ultimate Monet? That's that's a, a card that I looked at because he really wasn't that expensive. Um, but best center backs for Premier League other than Van Dyke. I like um, Boxing Day Matip. Uh, but if you look at the Boxing Day cards, there's a decent amount of Boxing Day cards that were dec that were pretty good. Let's see, I need to focus here. Let's see. I have not tried set. Come on. Freeze Lindoff. That's that's a card that a lot of people have talked about. But I haven't played I haven't noticed playing against it to see if I have an opinion one way or the other. Maguire center back. The one that I was interested in was Duffy. The uh, New Year's Eve Duffy. Why, why do I pronounce Shapiro weird? Are you talking about, oh, Shakiri? It Okay, the announcers call him Shakiri, which is fine. But he's actually... Is it Romanian? And if you hear him pronounce his own name, he pronounces it Shichiri. There's is almost like a, a, a ch instead of a k in there. And the first time I heard it pronounced that way, Shichiri, was shit years ago, and I've kind of just stuck with it. Why I don't know. I spent nearly a hundred million today upgrading my entire squad. Sent you a head-to-head -head request. Oh shit! So basically, someone wants to kick the shit out of me. Let's see, Alien Sushi FC. Hundred million coin squad. I've done that. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. Niang UEL card. What, what should I know about? Albanian. Yes, Albanian. If you look up in and, and you see how uh, how you pronounce uh, Shatiri in Albanian, it's Jordan Shatiri. So, Wolf Tran, I want to check. I'll check yours out next and see what it is. I've seen your squad before. How's the silver market been? I just claimed everything. I think... I made a couple million since, uh, it was a couple million coins since the last, um, stream where I bought Allison. So however, whatever that day was, it was two days ago. I think that's where it's at. It's, it's been, I already gave up a goal. Uh-oh. Let 
need to get one back. Well, I'm not going to get one back like that. See, I was reading and I didn't even see what the team lineup looked like, so I have to look after it's over. Damn. <laughs> it's like I ran into a brick wall. Okay, I got my goal back. Now I can read. Uh, look at my squad. It's I say I had to get rid of my Mexican team. Yes, I'll take a look at it. So the Nightbot link is still not working. I remember someone told me that last week, and I never checked it. I think I uh, got lazy. Damn it, give him a corner. I don't know. The I was watching the market pretty heavy for elites because I had uh, somebody in our league, whatever market he was in, he was getting a million or more coins out of base elites. Um like a dozen a night. And it was getting very frustrating watching someone make 12, 15 million every night when I was struggling to put two to three million together when I really wanted Ultimate Allison. Uh, so I was monitoring to see what days he was getting sales on. And the elite market seemed to go up Tuesday, Thursday, or no. Tuesday and Wednesday, and then it died Thursday and Friday, and then it came back on Saturday, died on Monday. Um, I don't know how it's been in silvers. It's just been kind of hit and miss. And then I had like a couple of weeks where I had nothing, and then it went to all of a sudden I was making a couple of million a day, and then it died again. So I don't know. And then I, I made a couple of million since that last video. So, um, and, and But I chalked that up to... Um, Lunar New Year and the effect that it had on damn he came off his line though um, the problem with Lunar New Year Lunar New Year really throwing um, all the elites into the market I don't know team of the week always fucks the market up too that was a bad through ball I'd jump a U16 for a ball like that just saying Oh, that's where the vision stack comes in. Excellent placement. Did not give up the finesse shot. That's one of the, the moments where the ultimate Allison seems to, to ring true. When the vision stat comes into play on some of those. Origi with a header. I like it. Um, the vision stat seems to come into play. Okay, I'm I'm doing like four things at once, and the beer is really starting to kick in at this point. We got the team. We got this back into range, two to two. Let's focus. Do you know what? And this may be the Yangling talking, but a night, a tournament. Okay, hear me out. A YouTube tournament or a streaming tournament, but if you lose or no, if you win, you're doing shots. Now that could be entertaining. That I would watch. That I would partake in. I seem to play better though. Buzzed. I lose focus. But I do seem to play better. Lunar Tevez. That's the one you can buy in the, 
the coin packs, right? I looked at him because I was curious if he was a decent investment because it didn't seem there for a while there wasn't anything good popping up in the, the coin packs. See, now normally I would play out of the back and I would give up a goal because I'm an idiot, but uh, I'm trying to be intelligent here. This was a, a, a good game, and I don't want to give up an easy goal, so we're going to try to run the clock down. Oh, I won. I actually won. Anybody who watches my streams knows that I normally lose everything. It was a great match, though. And I, it's just exciting for me actually to actually win a head-to-head -head against a, a decent team like that, a good team like that, um, is exciting for me because I really, truly suck at head-to-head. -head. That was a good game. Okay, before I do this, I want to see who I was playing against because I wasn't paying attention. Werner up top. I like that card, but that was one of the ones I sold when I was trying to put money together to buy Van Dyke and Allison. Messi, Mbappe. That's a good squad. How do you like that Pope in the back? That's a question. Hmm. Base Gomez, train to 90. Interesting choice. I, I'm curious, do you have him back there because he's a player you really like or just because you've had him for a while and he was cheap in the beginning? Just curious because I don't think I've ever seen anybody with a Gomez trained to elite with a team this strong. Okay, who else is in the mix? We'll play another match. No friend requests. We'll start at the top. Oh. About an hour in. I think I I drank too many of these during the working on the podcast. Ugh. Chemistry. Yeah, it wasn't a mixed squad. I didn't look. Here's a question. I don't know the answer, but I'm curious if anybody does. Are they going to be releasing anything anytime soon with more perks? Any kind of more perk bonus? That's what I'm waiting on. I think I've got... Should I've got at least 2,200, maybe, if I had to guess. 2,200 perk points with nothing to spend them on. Oh, with the nice little heel pass through. Holy shit, that went about 19 rows up into the stands. Do you drink Desi Beat? What the fuck is Desi Beat? I'll drink anything. Desi Beer. I, I don't know what that is. Hey, I scored. See what happens when I don't pay attention? 1,700 perks. I, I think my league plays league versus league every day. And we seem to win more than we lose. But, I mean, we're like in that 400 to 500 range usually. But it's because we we left our league and started a new one to cheat. To be able to win enough to claim Zidane. Everybody wanted the Zidane campaign completed. And you have to win so many league versus leagues. And when you're top 250, it's tough. So, we left and started in a new league. That's why we have so many perk points.
I have to say, I'm going to just throw this out here. This may be the most lit I've ever been on a stream. It's been a long night. You know it's bad when I'm having trouble focusing. Don't drink and play FIFA Mobile, kids. Okay, that was a good half. Not because of me, but because I auto-played a goal. That says so much about my ability in-game. How did he keep it in? So pretty. So pretty. We're getting fancy. Nope. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm Playing too tough here. I got cocky. I'm going to give a goal up. I just have that feeling. You can tell when you're starting to make dumb decisions. What the hell kind of pass was that? I think Chewie hit it with his purse. Nothing, just so you know, nothing pisses off a 15-year-old kid more than asking him if he hit that pass with his purse. Yeah. So I'm back into youth training again, full, full swing, which is making my life a little bit more difficult trying to, to make time for streaming. I'm not getting home until about 10 o'clock uh, every night but Friday and Thursday I, I've been I've had a break on Thursdays that's a good match that was a good match um, Thursdays is the only night Friday nights not bad either but man Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday getting home at 10 o'clock is tough and then trying to get on here and play and uh, last night Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's see if there's any, we've got some friend requests coming in. Now, just so you guys know, after the stream, or before the next stream, I'll unfriend all of you. Don't take it personally. It's just because it's, uh, to make room for the next stream, just to let new people come in. All right, I'm not, I'm not reading. Have you ever watched TPB? What the hell is TPB? Do you like Minamino? Well, I mean, I haven't seen him play a whole lot. So I kind of, um, I haven't been able to uh, make a, an, an informed decision yet. Okay, DBO84. I haven't been able to watch a soccer game in a long time, and I've been so busy working and playing on this game. Number one, because you said soccer game. Where are you from? Champions League, yeah. I don't know who's going to be team of the year. Okay, I use Gomez because he has good defensive stats and is fast for non-premium player. I would have bought Van Dyke, but I ran out of money. I, In game, I'm kind of unimpressed with Gomez. I don't think he's a bad player, but he kind of reminds... Right now, I feel about Gomez... The way I felt about Trent Alexander-Arnold two seasons ago. When you would see him on the field, it was kind of... You, your stomach started to twist a little bit. Because you were like, okay, he's, there's going to be a mistake. It's going to be a mistake. And it was usually in something like the FA Cup or um, you know, just, just a trophy tournament, something. 
and you would find him out on the field, and it just made me nervous. That's kind of how I still feel with Gomez. So I don't know. I don't know. If they do a team of the week or player of the month Courtois, it depends on if it will affect Star Pass Courtois. I don't know if it will affect him. Um, I always go back to what happened last year with De Gea. Um, team, ultimate team of the year De Gea was, I think, 96 rated. I had to guess. It was 96 rated. His value was through the roof. He, 100 million plus, constantly, always 100 million plus. And then uh, they released the UCL 97 rated De Gea that you could get from grinding. And when you did a FIFA renders side-by-side -side comparison to his stats at trained out at max, and holy hell, UCL De Gea on paper was a superior keeper. In game, yeah, not so much. Uh, it, it just, so it's possible that if they release a player of the month, Courtois, he, he won't be as strong as uh, Star Pass Courtois. I don't know. I think eventually um, Star Pass Courtois is going to become nerfed. They're going to have to do something with him. And I think you'll just slowly realize that he's not as strong as he was. But right now, that keeper's no joke. Let's see. I only said soccer match because I'm using the microphone to automatically text my messages. If I was to say football, it would probably be spelled foot. I get that. Okay. I was just curious. I mean, we if you call it football here in the States... Um, People assume you're talking about American football, which I absolutely despise. So I have a hard time because in in my day to day, um, as a you know as a, a coach and as a trainer, it's soccer, it's soccer, soccer, soccer. And then you get on here, and if you talk about soccer, people are just like, eh, "He said soccer." But if I say football in in my everyday. I lose it. Do I like baseball? No. And I, I and there is a very polarizing um, sentiment, uh, uh, mentality for me when it comes to um, when it comes to soccer, and it, it comes to all sports here in the states. And I don't mind it. I'll say it. I I hate baseball. I hate American football. I hate basketball with a passion. The only sports that I will watch is is soccer, uh, European football, um, and boxing. That's it. That's the extent of what I watch. And the reason being is I don't I don't think baseball is a sport. It's a game. Anything where professional players are allowed to wear jewelry and sunglasses and their uniform has a belt, that's not a fucking sport. I'm sorry. If you're out there and you're all excited about whatever necklace you have on, you're not a fucking athlete. That's not a sport. No. Don't know. It's not a sport. But I love... I'm, I'm Boxing is uh, my, my favorite. I love boxing since I was a kid. All about boxing. In fact, for the longest time, I've been on Twitter for a very long time. Um, and if if it wasn't telling jokes because of all the stand-up, then it was just boxing. I would spend every pay-per-view uh, live chatting boxing. I had a whole group of boxing friends and um, you know sportscasters and just different... Uh, bloggers that were writing about it that I would you know, engage with on Twitter and that's all I did for years was just boxing on Twitter jokes and boxing that was it okay so what do we got somebody wanted to play and I would say that was a good game but honestly I, I wasn't paying attention 
I'm reading the chat. I love boxing and football. It's the same. You want a rematch in head-to-head? -head? Okay, we'll play another one. Do I watch UFC? No. No. I like boxing. Uh, it, boxing has, has always been a, a, a severe love for me. And this is true. My, my brother-in-law, my wife's brother, uh, was a... Um, he had his own karate studio when I first started dating her. And that was, you know, they, her family was big into any kind of martial arts, mixed martial arts. And he, he was, he got into shoot fighting, cage fighting and MMA and was trying to get me to train with him years ago with MMA fighting. And I did for a while, not actual fighting, but just the training involved and I ended up tearing my ACL, and it was tough. Um, but he was watching it and tried to get me to watch it a few times, and as terrible as it is, I don't like to say it, but it's just a little bit too... It's too feminine. I don't know how to say that without it sounding bad, but it's just a little too feminine. When you can punch someone with... The flat of your fist, when you use this part to punch someone, that's that's a step away from slapping someone with your purse. That's prefer boxing. Stand up and and fight. Now I'll watch kickboxing. That's not bad. I'll watch kickboxing. But there's just too much going to ground and uh I don't know. But I will say that when Gina Carano was fighting. I never missed a match. Um, but that's different. That that really didn't have anything to do with fighting. That had more to do with the fact that it was Gina Carano. And we're not going to get into that. I haven't had enough beers to, to talk about that one yet. But Favorite boxer of all time? Um, I've, I've got a few. I, I loved, my wife and I both were in love with Diego Corrales. And when Diego Corrales died in a motorcycle accident, it was a horribly depressing moment. Um, love Diego Corrales. Uh, but I think if I had to say my favorite boxer of all time, it's um, Vitaly Klitschko. That's my favorite. Favorite boxer of ever. Uh, when are you going to stream next? Probably in the morning. Um, that That's when I'll do it. Yes, feminine, but it's only when they go on the ground. It's only when it's like ground and pound. You got somebody sitting on somebody else's chest. Uh, and they're, they're covering up. i just never been into the grappling. It's just... Pernell Whitaker. That's good. That's good. You didn't know who Kobe Bryant was before his death. Um, I could talk about Kobe Bryant for a long time, and it wouldn't be a good conversation. Not because I don't like Kobe Bryant. It's just... When you don't follow basketball and you don't like the sport, the only thing you know about Kobe Bryant is um, from his many times of being in the news, and they usually weren't very good times in the news. <laughs> but, yeah, I was always a big fan of um, – I need to get a goal back here. Ooh, that should have been a foul. I got swept. But we'll take it. I still have possession. Um. Yeah, I don't like basketball at all. Um, I skipped over your match like six times. I'm I'm just picking the first match, dude. I'm not doing it on. I'm not like trying to um, skip over you on pur purpose. Watching on Twitch via smart TV and the FIFA app over my phone. See, that's smart. Cause it's a smart TV.
How am I down by two here? Ah. Uh. Oh, see now, I think many other keepers would have let that go in because that was within that range, and I'm glad for that. Am I going to watch the Wilder fight rematch? Yes, 100%. 100%. Okay, so, so who am I supposed to be picking? So, who is it that I'm supposed to pick? A Adithian 222. Which one is yours? I don't see it. Let's see. Are you gonna watch the Wilder fight ma match? See, I like the, the I watched the first one. Um, I don't dislike Tyson Fury, and I don't necessarily like. Um, I don't necessarily like uh, Deontay Wilder, but there really hasn't been any big um, boxers in the heavyweight division. From, that I've been really excited about since Vladimir Klitschko retired. So that's why. Okay. Since you asked and you're a teammate, we'll throw a game in. Let's see. I would have, uh, whatever your name was, was it Adi Ad? I don't know. Something, yeah. Adithian222. I would have played for you. I was waiting. But I don't know which in-game person you are. Okay, I'm trying to put a modicum of effort into here. Someone asked which uh, club I train for. It's it's a, a local club here in Ohio. I actually work for multiple clubs as a trainer. Uh, each season I usually have between three to five teams I'm dealing with. And usually those teams are high school age, 16, 17. Um, I prefer to have older kids. I like like 18, 19 year olds. Uh, U19 is my favorite because it's. I mean, they're they're prepping for college. They're right there. Um, that's that's where I prefer. But like right now, uh, my 19s that I've had for God, like seven, eight years, graduated from high school, and they're all playing in college now. So the I worked backwards. Last year I had U8s and uh, U8s, U14, 15 and 16. This year I've been assigned to new teams through a new club and I have 15s and 16s. So it's it's a little different. And the quality of play isn't as strong as what I've been used to. I mean, I usually have a, a pretty high-level team and then maybe a low-level team. Still still like a ranked team, but nothing that's going to like travel nationally or anything. But right now, the best team that I'm dealing with, I mean, I don't even think we're going to leave the state this season. So... 
Yeah, I agree with the Pope isn't all that. Let's see. Does playing FIFA Mobile help with coaching? That is not a stupid question, and you would be so surprised how much you can explain to kids, um, especially if they're a specific age, based on um, their experience with video games. Um, especially with... If you're, if you're a kid and you're between the ages of like 10 to 15, if you don't play FIFA on console or mobile, you're behind. Uh, it, it's so easy to explain formations and use the game as a starting point so that they can understand what you're trying to explain. And it, it just allows them to understand so much better. And when they know that you play, it especially when you're um, a youth coach, when they know that you play, it makes a big difference too. It makes it, uh, they, they kind of feel like that you understand what they're dealing with. I don't know. Plus they see me on my phone constantly. Uh, Any of them know me from YouTube? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm kind of reluctant to say what the name of the club is. Uh, because you're dealing with youth um, and this isn't per se a children's friendly channel. I mean, duh. If any of them do, they've never said anything. Now, the older ones, like the 19s, they do. A lot of them did. But they've all moved on to college. Plus, plus I would say, say there's, there's been many times, times that I've tried, I've tried to explain, to explain something, something to a kid that's either in a tournament or situation. situation. They was, they was outside. outside. Come on, Come on. Oh, I had to have been outside. outside. Even Van Dyke had, had, had his hand up. Is it better? Is that better? Audio back? Okay. That was a good game. Oh, somebody sold. I don't think I have more than him, though. No. Nope. Okay, we're starting to run low on time. Bunch of head-to-head -head requests are coming in. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Okay, a couple of things before I go. Um, do I follow U.S. men's team? Yeah, I mean, I'll watch it, but I'm a German guy at heart. So, uh, if, I mean, my, I have a, a second generation German immigrant family. So I, I follow it, like world cup comes around. Oh, obviously root on the U S team, but my focus is on Germany. But like if the U S men's are playing and they come anywhere near, we'll go watch them play. Uh, they've been, I'm real, I'm not that far away from the, I'm halfway between Columbus crew and FC Cincinnati. So I can go to either stadium pretty easy. And that happens quite a bit. How do I feel when Mexico beat Germany in the world cup? I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan. Germany's Germany's my my national team. That's that's who I I root for more than any. But uh, yeah, they last year it it 
it really wasn't that. I don't know, but I think Mexico played well. Mexico's not a bad. It, it, that's a good team. Um, you know who's a bad team though? The U.S. men's team. Just say it. The U.S. men's team. It's not good, and that's the problem. And the the being a a, a coach here in the U.S. watching that, and it is it is tough to watch the way um, the U.S. program is built. It's it's definitely not conducive to creating strong national players and the I mean the entire program from the national level down has no I mean there's really no um, intelligence behind it it's, it's tough it's tough to watch I mean and, and you watch them play it's almost like watching a high school team play against uh, somebody else's national team. But yes, the U.S. women, that's a completely different, that, that's a, a, a different animal altogether. And I would really be interested to see, and I think that the U.S. women could give the U.S. men um, an incredible match. I, I think they could take them. I mean, the way they play, it's, it's not... European football level, but it is a no holds barred, press high, finish strong type of soccer. Whereas the U.S. men, they just don't they don't have the ability to put it together. It's tough to watch. God, it's hard to watch those matches. You're just frustrated. Blech. Yeah, they're better than the men. Favorite U.S. men's team player other than Pulisic? Um, I always liked Howard in the goal. I mean, really, I don't... I really wasn't a, a, a big fan of anybody. It's sad. <laughs> yeah, they lost to some terrible teams. Travis, I have 110 million. What to invest in uh, or more upgrades? Now, I'm kind of in that same boat. Um, I'm right now. If you wanted to max out your team and buy players to invest in, it would be a good time to do it. I, I think if I had, let's say, I had 100 million and I had the team that I wanted then what I would probably do is is focus my investments on um, master players in this cheap range. Anything other than 800, anything below 900K for a master and try to spread it out across all tiers, that's where I would be investing because, and then just sitting on it. I wouldn't do any upgrading. I would just be sitting on those high value um, XP cards that once this market shifts, their value is going to go way up. Anybody you can grab under a million coins that's over 90 rated, even at 800,000, I think there's, nope, there were the other day. You might have to bid on them. Not just Wesley, though. There's other cards that are available in that range. That's probably what I would be buying is any master I can get in that range. Because you can do it twofold. You can do it as an investment, and you can do it as uh, XP when you need it. I've already sold all my masters. That's how I ended up buying Allison and Van Dyke. Uh, England literally had shit attack in mid. Sitting at two and a half million, what do you think I should invest in? Right now, two and a half million, uh, I would be all over elites in that range. And I, I think you can get elites right now 
I mean, you can get a lot of, you can get base elites under 80,000 all day long. But I think I would be, I would bump that number down. And ju- the thing with buying elites is invest across the board. Don't. Okay, so it looks like that might be the range. 70 to 80,000. That's the range that I would be buying in. And I should just buy some now while I'm thinking about it. But I just don't want to. Too many zeros. 75. So it's just 80,000. Don't buy too many of one player. Try to keep it under 8 to 10 of any one player. And just buy across the board. Grab a variety. I need to keep 500,000. I need to buy... Um, I need to buy the uh, thing. Croatia's team's physical fitness is next level. Liverpool wouldn't last a half. Manzukic and Bozo are just tanks. No comment. Let's see. Yeah, I would stick with a variety. Buy anything you can. Spread it out. But don't forget, the other big thing is don't forget um, Team of the Year ends. And if you have uh, an opportunity, then don't waste your uh, your chance to grab a few things in Team of the Year before it ends. Me, I'm going to grab the boost. But I have to spend 500000 to get it. That's why I'm only buying what I can here. I don't want to get too many of one thing. I have too many big leas. So we'll spread out. And don't be afraid to buy um, base cards. The bots, what's going to raise the, the value on these things? It's not because they actually are someone people are going to want. Uh, do you follow uh, MSL? Are you, do you mean the MLS? Yeah, MLS. Um, no, I used to. Um, there were times when I was there was a time when I was a Columbus Crew season ticket holder, and I think last season I went to a couple of Crew games and FC Cincinnati um, earlier this year, but it's not it's not my favorite. I would much prefer to to watch European football on uh, on TV. And it, what's tough is when you go and watch some of the matches and you're looking at it like, ah. And what's sad is, I swear to God, uh, the U19s, U18, U19 national teams, not like the U.S., not the, like, the U.S., U18, U19, but the club U18, U19 teams that are ranked nationally could beat half of the MLS teams. It's just fact. Fitness-wise, everything. And they play on the same size field. There's nothing there that would change anything. It's just tough to watch some of the MLS matches. It's a more of a proving ground for up-and-coming players that, or a sending-off ground for retiring players. But if it's a Saturday night and you're bored and you want to go drink somewhere, then you can do it. First cheer for your channel. Thank you. How long will Silva and Marquino hold up? I don't know. All right, I need to stop buying players here before I end up locking myself out of my own group because I can't have—I don't have anybody I can put in for sale. All right, I think that's where I'm going to end it. Uh, I know there were some matches waiting, um, but uh, I'm going to end this so I can actually get some stuff finished tonight and be ready to stream in the morning. So how can you tell when elite prices increase? Just check your suggested. Just keep running through and checking suggested. That's my best advice. And you'll know, but it, I, I don't see elites um, getting picked up anytime 
before uh, Lunar New Year's over. I don't see their value coming back. You might be able to sell one or two in there, you know, if, if the bot picks one up. And I'm constantly fishing. I think right now I've got one of every elite that I, in my squad on a 24-hour cycle with a buy it now of 400000 and a uh, um, starting price of 200000 and they just run them on a 24-hour cycle just to fish it, see if something kind of pops and then sell everybody else I have. If you look at my listing, see like right here, these see all the elites, seven hours left. It's just one each. And it's that 200 to 400,000 range. Just fishing to see if anybody will bite. But it doesn't look like any of them are right now. There's probably... 300 of them just different elites mostly base mostly thing, but I'll be holding on to this stuff for a while Netherlands had who uh, Netherlands had a ton of players all right that's where we're gonna end it um, Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Some fun matches. I'm I'm beer dry and I need to go break the seal, if you know what I mean. Um, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. As long as you keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Thanks for watching. Maybe check out one of these other videos next. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Visit my site, finallyhesleeps.com, for daily posts about FIFA Mobile and other various brain vomit. Plus, if you get really bored, you can find merchandise and my latest comedy album, Life Before the Internet, at the links below. Like, down at the bottom, those links. <laughs>